scholars, and welcome back. So today's art video is about how music can inspire your art making. Art and music! Now, sometimes when I'm listening to music, the music really feeds my artistic and creative soul. And when I listen to the music, I start to imagine different colors, different movements, different shapes, different textures, different objects even. So music and art kind of go nicely together. They kind of inspire each other. ba -bam. I know some artists or musicians who have seen artwork and totally made a song out of it. I don't have an example right now for you, but it has been done. So today what we're going to do is we're gonna think about how music can inspire our paintings. And I'm gonna show you different ways that the music may inspire me when I am creating my work. Now, today I'm using different materials than I have in the past. Today I actually pulled out some of my watercolor because ugh, I've just been craving some paint. But you can still use other drawing materials or maybe you have a different art material that you want to use today. Like, I don't know, maybe you got Play-Doh that you want to manipulate and change as you're listening to the music. Same idea, the music is still inspiring and fueling what's going to become your piece of artwork. Inspire me, inspire me, inspire me, inspire me! So, I'm painting, but maybe you want some drawing materials. Like I have some colored pencils, some markers, a pen that I might also use. So, also when I'm working, I like to have some backup paper. To, so I, if I am done with one piece, I can keep on going, especially if I'm like in that creative charge or flow. So for example, I've already started my, my painting right now that I was trying to find new music to listen to. But then I have a fresh piece. Then I actually have a piece of paper that I've already painted on, but it's already dry. So this is a great piece for just drawing or adding to. So let's see, what do I want to listen to first? Ooh. Oh. Yes. Ella Fitzgerald. Woo! Dream a little dream of me. All right. So, for me, I like to first listen. Kind of like when I'm drawing from observation, I want to look before I start making. I need to understand what I'm seeing or hearing before I start interpreting it into my artwork. Dream a little dream. <laughs> so, once I listen to the music, hear it, feel it, then I'm going to start thinking about what colors I might want. Um, so like right now, this song is really making me think yellow. Maybe I want to do some, make some texture with my yellow paint by dabbing up and down, kind of following the beat of the music. The song, this song also has like this fluid, like water movement. Maybe I want to add some other color that I can move more fluidly. Ooh. I'm also feeling very blue. Blue, almost like um, like the color of water, but calm. Mm. Sometimes I just like to take a brush of water and then grab some color and place it right where I put that water. The water kind of spreads that color out a little bit more evenly without me having to brush it around or make it lighter. For your information, water is a great way to make a lighter color when you're working with watercolor. Because sometimes watercolor doesn't have white. My watercolor has white, but not all watercolors do. So we have white for um, water to create that lighter hue or value. Hmm. Let's 
Let's see, I think I need some more of that yellow texture. I really like that yellow painted texture I was creating before. Oh yeah, put it into my blues, fill in some of that space. Hmm, cool. I'm actually gonna put that to the side because now I kind of want to do a little bit of drawing. Next! So I'm gonna take the piece that I've already created. Let's see, I'm gonna choose a different song. What do we got here? What do we got here? Ooh. Okay. This one has a this song has a lot of energy, a lot of movement. So this painting that I already created has a lot of movement already in it. So maybe I want to add to it. Oh no, I broke it. <laughs> New color. This makes me feel like I need to make quick squiggly lines. Like this music is just going all over this place. many different lines I can create. Maybe I need some zigzag lines, curvy lines, thick lines. I need to switch up the color. Maybe sh quick, straight, curved lines. Filling in the space, creating that movement, that energy that this song is giving me. Ooh. And the song is done. So, my friends, today you're gonna think about how music can inspire your artwork. Inspire me, inspire me, inspire me, inspire me! Your choice of materials, your choice of music, just let the music really inspire you. Let your the music really feel inside you and then translate it into a piece of art. All right, my friends, good luck, and I can't wait to see your ins musical inspired artwork.